In this problem, we need to find how fast she throws each toy so that it lands at points B and C, but also the time between the throws so that both toys impact the points at the same time. Using our simplified diagram and our coordinate system, let's write down what we know. The toy's starting locations in the horizontal direction is at 0 meters. The final location XB is at 2.5 meters, and XC is at 4 meters. For the vertical direction, we have the starting location at 0 meters. The final location, YB, is at negative 0.75 meters. It's 1 meter minus 0.25 meters as the toy hits the edge of the pool, which is 0.25 meters above the ground level. The other location, YC, is also negative 0.75 meters. Let's not forget acceleration, which is downwards, so negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Now let's think about the velocity. In the horizontal direction, we have v cos 30 degrees, and in the vertical direction, we have v sine 30 degrees. Let's write our first equation for the horizontal motion to impact at point B. We will assume up is positive and to the right is positive. We will use this equation. Let's substitute what we know. Let's set this equation aside and write one for vertical motion. For that, we will use this equation. Substitute what we know. We now have two equations with two unknowns. Solving the two gives us a time value and a velocity value. Let's do the same process for point C. The first equation is for horizontal motion. Substitute what we know in. Now we need an equation for vertical motion. We can use the same as before and substitute what we know in. As before, we can solve the two equations and we get a value for velocity and time. To find the time between the toys, we just need to subtract the two time values we found from each other. Thanks so much for watching, and if there are ways to improve these videos, please comment below.